fires in Hawaii. The number of dead from those fires in Maui now stands at almost 90 people. And now officials fear that number will only continue to rise as emergency workers look through what is left of the historic Lahaina town. CBS News's Jeff Wynn has the latest from Maui. The death toll is expected to climb following Tuesday's wildfire. State and federal teams are going building to building, searching scorched neighborhoods for the remains of those who never had a chance to leave. Officials say most of the confirmed dead were trapped while trying to escape on foot. Others died in their cars. This woman picked up another woman and her tortoise as she tried to outdrive the flames. It was just very like apocalypse situation. So I was just in survival mode at that point. Once I saw the smoke billowing down, that was enough for me to be like, I need to focus on getting out. She saved my life. I, I just can't believe how lucky I was. The inferno wiped out 80% of Lahaina. It incinerated more than 2,200 buildings, mostly residential, leaving thousands homeless. We're the only things we have now because everything that we had in the past is gone. People here in Maui are anxious. They're trying to get back into their homes to see if they're still standing. They're also demanding answers as to why Hawaii's extensive system of warning sirens never sounded. It was fight or flight mm -hmm. with no warning whatsoever. People say they never received a single text alert and many lost electricity, so they had no access to radio or television. Officials say the power was never turned off, but likely knocked out by the wind. Hawaii's attorney general has ordered a comprehensive review of the critical decision making made before, during and after the disaster hit. But for these residents, that's too little, too late. Jeff Nguyen, CBS News, Maui. And one you see a football player is doing his part to get results for those wildfire victims in Hawaii. Lokahi Poaule is from that island and has recently announced that he is donating his name, image, likeness money to help those impacted by the fires. And he's urging others now to do the same. In Hawaii, we're all a family. Uh, Ohana is a real thing. So even though I'm from Oahu, I don't have any immediate family over there in Maui. There's, you're connected somehow. So. Um, prayers out to them. Um, I've been praying for them every day, reaching out to who I can reach out to. And I appreciate everyone who's been reaching out to me. Uh, it means a lot. If there's anything I can say, if you guys have it, and if you visited Hawaii before, um, don't be afraid to donate. Um, don't be afraid to help out, especially in this trying time. If you are interested in donating to the Hawaii Community Foundation's Maui Strong Fund, we have information for you on clickorlando.com. You can look right on the home page.